Why hello my friends, and welcome back. Well, actually sorry, welcome to my new Let's Play of Assassin's Creed 3. So I've been playing the game, I actually beat it. Um, it's freaking amazing guys, I love this game. And this will of course be replacing Assassin's Creed 2, unfortunately. Sorry for not finishing that up guys. I just didn't have enough time before Assassin's Creed 3 came out. Actually that's a lie, I did, but I just was so lazy that I didn't do it. So let's play some Assassin's Creed 3. Alright. I want to know. Because we need to have subtitles on. I guess we do that in game. Okay, let's play the story, everyone. Stop, new game. Injured waffles, that works for me. Used to be when people talked about the. Oh, yes, thank you. Subtitles. Awesome. Sometimes both, but we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. Yes, maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better <clears throat> start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage. One a he heritage of assassins. It nearly cost him his life. Whoa. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call Pieces of Eden. Mmm, that looks Bits delicious. Of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found. All of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group. The same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars. Legas! The enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years. Even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. <laughs> that guy's like, whoa, that's that knife, man. Like Look at that knife, it's so big. That's the beauty I don't of the animals. Ezio Auditore da Firenze. We never made it that far to see that what Ezio looks like. It We'd have to play a whole to totally everything. different game. To show that's us Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Really that's Scythe Point. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils. Went the truth. The truth. We're trying to fix that. To free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do. And the Templars have the upper hand these days. They have but upper hands. larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching. Bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. Everyone. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be when it does. 21 12, been 12. Guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. I see. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long-lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the Apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. The end. Awesome. We're in a car. Driving down the street. Oh, never mind. Driving down the forest. So I see some tree. Oh, never mind. I just saw a car. Maybe we are driving down the street. I don't know. Oh, it's October 31st, 2012. It's Halloween. Happy Halloween, everyone. Yay. The game came out on October 30th, 2012. So, yeah. We're here. Hooray. Oh, boy. Huh. Yeah, Desmond looks uh, a tad bit different, as you guys can tell. He's a little bit more, I don't know, thinner, I guess. That's from the coma, though. He suffered in Assassin's Creed Revelations, which is Let's the go. last journey of Ezio Auditore da Firenze. 
I miss Ezio sometimes. He was a pretty cool guy. I remember him fondly. Us in our pedo van thing right there. Oh well. I got a torch. Oh! Graffiti. <laughs> That's what we're here to do. We're here to clean up the graffiti. Because we're cool. We're assassins like that. That's what assassins do these days. They clean up walls. Hey, they're going to assassinate the graffiti artists. No hope. Ain't got no hope. Oh my god. What the heck is this right here? Oh, I don't understand, but I'm going with it anyways. Oh gosh, put it in there, put it in there, dude. Oh, he put it in there. Sweet, glowy wallness of everything is glowing like a... In another moment, down went Alice after it. Never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. We talking about Alice in Wonderland here? Because I assure you, we are definitely not going to Wonderland. We're going to the depths of the earth to figure out how to murder people easier. Oh boy, look at this place. It is dark in here. It's a good thing we got this glow stick. Oh, skip forward ahead a little bit. We skip. We, uh, wow, this place is pretty, um, pretty dark. No one's really discovered this. No one was really curious what was behind a wall that looked like that. Really? Of course. Of course. I think we're here. That's what Desmond thinks. He thinks we're here. But you never know. Whoop, whoop! We lost our glow stick! No! Oh. We got it back. Alright, Desmond, pick it up. Come on, pick pick up pick up pick up the glow stick. Whoop, don't leave me! I can't glow stick, I got to. Whoop no! Oh gosh. Just I'm sorry, glow stick. Just had to be done. No! Well mm. Ah, whoo! <laughs> can't hear the screams of him now. What the hello there, little glowy thingy? I assume you're some sort of device that I have to plug into something? Huh. It's glowing green. We all know what that means. Radiation poisoning. That's what that means. Hold on. Yes. <coughs> I, say, ah, <coughs> I sneezed again. Oh god. Those forceful sneezes. Whew! Oh, I think I popped a vein. My eyeball hole thing. Oh, look at that windshield of windowness. Oh boy. Look at that. All right then. Well, up, oh, up, oh, bump. Um. Key. You must find. I must key. find the key. Son. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dying. It's okay though. Sir. Oh gosh, you got ugly, Dad. Here we go again. And dead. Up. Oh. Desmond. Hello. Do you hear us? Yes, I do. Uh, yeah. What you happened? had a blackout. Temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? Yeah, Desmond's running pretty cool now. You weren't in any danger. Besides, the Temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. Just no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. Yeah, so now I'm just she... running around in your mind. Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Oh, you know something's wrong when she's talking to you. Oh, boy. While you were, uh... 
visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update. For software guys. update. Run a couple of quick tests. Make sure there aren't any major issues. Okay, sounds well, good. What do you need me to do? We'll start I'm like simple. standing on something here. Up. Oh. Okay. Well, we'll do that in the next episode, friends. Thank you for watching. Click the annotation on the bottom right to watch the next video. And please be a friend. Click that annotation on the top right to subscribe. And as always, please be sure to like, favorite, and leave a comment below. I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.